Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Alors l'autre fois, on vous a proposé une émission spéciale sur le sport et le coaching. Et souvent après le sport, bah, arrivent les courbatures, on a mal un peu partout, on a mal aux jambes, on a mal au dos et on a besoin d'un bon massage. Pour parler massage, nous sommes aujourd'hui avec une spécialiste, elle s'appelle Ruth Eden. Elle est spécialiste en énergie holistique, en réflexologie, en raïka et en méditation. Elle va nous expliquer de quoi il s'agit tout ça. Elle nous vient droit de Londres, elle a fait son alia il y a tout juste 7 mois en Israël. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hi Ruth, how are you? I'm very well Vanessa, how are you? I'm very fine. Good. And uh, thanks uh, for accepting to, to speak with us today. Thank you very much for having me today. <laughs> Ruth, uh, we need to know, after a, a good personal training session, uh, what kind of massage do you recommend and why? After personal training, it's very important to have a massage. It should be part of your routine if you're going to make sports. Um, there's a build-up of lactic acid that can be massaged out and go uh, through your system quicker. It helps your blood flow around your body, bringing fresh blood into the muscles. Um, there's also a recent study that's been shown that if you massage even for 15 minutes on a muscle after exercise, that The muscle is still strong after the massage and after the workout, stronger than people that don't have a massage. And also it helps the superficial layer of the muscle to keep strong. You promote a breathing uh, technique. Um, what, why is it so important? I think a lot of people, they forget to breathe. And this is obviously what keeps us alive. But with um, sports and any activity, to learn the correct breath of filling your whole body with air and expelling it in the right way is, is very positive. With breathing, you can, you can make magic happen. You can breathe in what you want and release what you don't, don't any more need, you know? It's a very special technique to learn breathing, proper breathing. For the breathing technique, the most important rules are when you first start, always sit down because it can cause you know you to have a head rush um, go slowly with your breathing and especially when you exercise remember to breathe okay understand um, can you explain briefly uh, what a holistic energy therapist uh, means okay um, an holistic energy therapist is somebody who will look at the whole body So, not just a particular problem, mm -hmm. but everything. Okay. What you're thinking, um, what your so how your soul feels, um, whether you like hot weather, whether you like cold weather, what colors you like, what music you like, and work out a program for the whole being. So, the energy system that's on the inside and the electrical magnetic frequencies on the outside. So I see you look, this is the energetic system. Can you explain to, to us? Okay, so this is the basic, this is the inside of the energetic system that I okay. use. These are called chakras, which are wheels, and it's a Sanskrit word. And each of these chakras are placed on the body, very near the nervous system. Mm -hmm. And they each represent different parts of your, of your well-being. Ah, okay. When they are spinning in, um, in order, then everything is good. But once one of these spins slower or faster, it can cause problems. Okay. And this comes from not only your thoughts, mm -hmm. but your whole environment around you, because energy is every everywhere. So this is what I work on the main lines. And then I also work on the meridian lines, which are all the channels that run mm -hmm. from each chakra. Ah, oh, okay, I understand. And what is it? Okay, so this is the Sanskrit name. So this is the Muladhara, which is your base chakra. This connects you to earth. Mm -hmm. And then you have your sacral chakra, which is here. And this is to do with your creativity and your expression. The Manipura, which is your emotions, is yellow, mm -hmm. and it's here, and a lot of people, they have problems here because their emotions, they stick there, you know? And then we have the Anahata, which is the heart, and it's funny because it's green, and a lot of people think green is not a good color. 
Yeah. But it's very good colour Ecology. <laughs> yeah, ecology. Yeah, it's true. A lot of people think green is like a jealous colour. <laughs> yeah, or an anger colour. Oh, okay. If you see in Disney films, they love to make the bad person, you know, in green. Oh. But this colour, like you say, for ecology, yes. it's, it's universal love. Mm, mm, mm. And this is your whole area here. So you can breathe in green mm -hmm. and then breathe out and you should, you know, feel the benefits from it. So then we have here the Vishuddha, which is all to do with your communication, how you speak, um, how you present yourself, that you're honest and that you're mm. open. People that constantly have problems with their throat, they're not speaking as they need to speak. Okay. And then we have the third eye, the Ajna, which is to do with um, your intellect, psychic ability, uh, intuition, knowing something's going to happen. And then on the crown, we have the connection to heaven, connection to God, to the universe, and this is always open. Mm -hmm. and, and this is how the energetic system, the basis of it, is, works. Okay, very great. And can you explain what is the reflexology? The reflexology is an amazing technique. I think it's been around since 1934. Okay. And it's the idea that the soles of the feet, the base of the feet, they represent the whole body. When you look at the foot like this, mm -hmm. you can see at the top where the head starts, the brain, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth. And as you work down the foot, mm -hmm. each side you can feel the lungs, the stomach, you know, the, ah, the okay. intestines okay. as you mm. work down the foot. So reflexology, is like a massage for the body, but you only do it on the feet. Okay. Very, very clever. Can you show me? I can show you. So this is a map of mm -hmm. a reflexology chart. So as you can see, mm -hmm. the bottom part of the foot, okay. we have the colon. So we have, um, you know, the ascending, okay. the transverse, the descending. And when you actually massage this on the foot, mm -hmm. you can feel Ah, where the colon ah, goes, okay. you can feel where the lungs are, where the heart is. And by using pressure on these points, you can invigorate these parts of the body physically. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing about reflexology <laughs> is people that have back pain. This here represents the back. Ah. And when you look at the foot, mm -hmm. it is exactly like the spine. So it starts with the cervix okay. and you see how it bends in. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the thoracic and the sacral all the way down. And just by working on this, you can feel the vertebrae. Okay. It's a very clever treatment. Very good. I, uh, I need to try. You need to come, <laughs> have a treatment. Um, Ruth, can you explain what is a Reiki? Okay, so Reiki is a Japanese modality. Mm -hmm. And it was um, devised by a monk who went up a mountain and meditated for 21 days. And he was hit with certain symbols. And the symbols, he's, he's termed this Reiki, but it means universal energy. And it's just about love, and it's a hands-on he healing technique like this. And it works, again, on this level of the chakras. So it's balancing the chakras, It's working with colors, with vibrations, with music, with light. It's a very um, non-invasive and very powerful treatment. What other type of uh, modalities are based on the uh, energetic system? There's a lot of type of um, energetic modalities that are thousands of years old. So um, traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, um, is based on energetic system. Um, Traditional uh, Thai massage is also an energetic system. The Kabbalah is also an energetic system. The Tree of Life is also like the chakras. And you can see when you place um, a body, actually on the picture of a Tree of Life, you can see where the energy, energy centers sit. And also the Kabbalah is meditation. Um, also, in Africa, they have voodoo, which is an energetic system, mm -hmm. and they're thousands of years old. Can you tell us about your background, education, and qualification? Okay, so um, I didn't do anything at school, and then um, I started traveling 
in my early 20s and I found all these amazing energetic techniques from Asia and spoke to many people all over the world that had a different viewpoint on the medical system and that we have in, in Europe. And um, then somebody told me about Reiki and from then it was uh, connection after connection. I went to Hong Kong, I studied Reiki. And then I went to Thailand, I studied the Thai energy lines and Thai massage. And then I went back to London and I did a degree, a Bachelor of Science in um, complementary and alternative medicine, um, which is based heavily on health sciences. And they teach you more that the energy of the body isn't just about uh, chakras or auras. They're actually electromagnetic frequencies. And I learned about electrons and the properties of how magnetism works. And this is a deeper understanding scientifically how these kinds of energy treatments work. I understand, but you have a lot of uh, certificates, no? Thank you. I worked very hard, <laughs> yeah. Can you explain uh, all certificates? Okay, so I had to do an access course in science mm -hmm. because in England, if you have no exams, you cannot do further education. Mm -hmm. And this is based on the sciences, physics and chemistry, um, very interesting. And then I have my degree in health sciences. I also have um, my Thai massage certificate, which also I did an advanced course, which taught me all the energy lines of the body in the Thai system. I have my three Reiki levels, one, two, and my master teacher degree. And of course, my reflexology system, which I did part of my degree. Wow. And what did you do on uh, Yael? Can you explain? Okay, so I firstly I started just warming down her muscles because she was very, very tight. Um, and I bring the energy through the feet and through the hands. So they're channels, so I open up the channels of the feet and channels of the hand. And I walk along the energy lines and anything that is blocked I pull through the hands and through the feet. Um, on certain parts of Yael's body, especially her back, where um, maybe she's been training or stretching. Um, her back is very tight. So I tried to work um, the main back line that goes up the spine and also her trapezius muscle, which is the muscle that goes across here, was very, very tight. So I tried to push this back. So I half using energy modalities and half using training for if you're doing sports. You know, this kind of on muscle work. Ruth, you travel a lot. Uh, why did you come in Israel? Okay, for me, uh, Israel is the best country in the world. I met a lot of Israelis while I traveled. Um, I came here when I was a child for boarding school for five months. It's the energy here, especially in, not just in Tel Aviv, but especially in Tel Aviv, the energy is very, very strong. The music is great. The food is great. Everything about this country Message is great. Message is great. <laughs> Method is great. But here also in Israel, they are very smart with their medical um, research. Mm. So when I'm doing my degree in London and I'm in the British Library and I'm researching this 12th body system of energy, a lot of the research is coming from the Weizmann Institute or from Haifa. So it's a great place for this kind of um, job because everything is changing all the time and it's, a, it's amazing. And where do you practice? Just here? Or? Okay, so I'm based in Tel Aviv, but mm -hmm. um, I also do mobile therapies. Um, I go into offices to offer people that sit at their desks for a long time, head, neck and back, shoulder massage. Um, I also, I, I run a workshop. Um, so I'm based in Tel Aviv. And if you wanted to contact me, you're welcome to call me or send me an email or look at my website. Can you tell us uh, how can people contact you? Okay, so um, they, uh, well, I give you my telephone number. What do you want to, to, to give? <laughs> okay, it's better. For me, I, if somebody wants to call, it's better. But if you want to send me an email okay. on middle underscore eden mm -hmm. at yahoo.co.uk. Um, all the information is on my website, which is www.edenawakening.com. And Facebook? Uh, and also, yeah, on Facebook. You can look my, for my page on Facebook. 
Um, and contact me if you have any questions or would like to know more. You're very welcome. And if, him, if me, I want to learn uh, more about uh, energy, uh, uh, holistic system and uh, everything, what can I do? You need to come and see me because I run a really good workshop and it gets people in touch with the whole energetic system. So we work on the five senses first mm -hmm. and then after we learn about the sixth sense. So you can come and do this workshop okay. and you can learn as much as you like and about it. And you can energy. be my mora. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be your mora. <rire> voilà, donc tout ce qu'il vous reste à faire si vous voulez aussi une mora euh, en massage et un bon massage et vous sentir bien euh, énergétiquement et, et pour bien commencer la journée ou pour bien la finir, en tout cas après une bonne séance de sport, allez voir Route Eden. Voilà, tout ce qu'il vous reste à faire et tout ce que l'on vous recommande, en tout cas à Météor TV. Merci beaucoup. Merci Ruth. beaucoup. Thank you very Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Wow. <rire>